Hey guys, what's going on? I want to go over the bullseye trader this week. It was Etsy, so here is uh, the email that went out on Monday morning. It's now Friday afternoon, the market's just about to close uh, after a really interesting day. So I thought I'd do a quick overview of the bullseye picks at Etsy and how I played it and how Jeff played it. Kind of talk about it a little bit more for you guys that are thinking about joining bullseye trades. It's $97 a quarter, I think, and there should be a link in the description below that you can go and uh, check it out. I think there's even a one week free trial with it as well, so you can go and check that out, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, on Monday pre-market, bullseye pick this week was Etsy. And so if we look down here, you can see here's the chart. And uh, basically, um, Jeff gave a brief overview, like he always does, about Etsy. And he looked in, basically this is what he said about it. Uh, the company is well managed, continues to be earnings, proven resilient in the bull and bear markets, fairly volatile, definitely was that. Uh, I don't expect the market to cooperate nicely and head higher in a straight line after I make a purchase, I agree. For my stop loss, I look to exit Etsy, uh, closes under 102. So for people that are in Bullseye, a couple of takeaways, I want to kind of emphasize stuff because I see some people making lots of money with Bullseye and, s and some aren't, so I want to make tr try and make sure like I pass on any tips and tricks I have that you know, I've come across. Uh, I've been a member of the service for years now and it's always served me really, really well. So I want to kind of pass on my, my advice. So uh, first thing I see people doing is if a stock dips below the thing that he gives here for the stock price, in this case it's 102, uh, they stop out. And it really is based on the daily chart, so make sure that if you're following this that you wait for a close under 102 to stop out, not just an intraday dip. Sometimes these things, because they're so volatile, will dip under the stop. Just notice the word close, so close under 102. That's one common mistake I see people make. Uh, anyway, so let's have a look at what happened with, with Etsy. So i go over to my broker here. Market just closed. Uh, let's see where we're at. Just going to set this to five day, five minutes. Let's get rid of some of the lines I was drawn on here so it doesn't look so cluttered. Let's see, here we go. All right. So, let's zoom out. So it's today, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and then Monday uh, right here. Uh, wait, let me just double check that. Da -da 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 -da. This is the ninth. Yeah. And so, um, so what happened when the market opened um, on the 12th here, which is the Monday, uh, the options were nowhere at the right price. Um, so that's my second big tip for people is say, okay, I'm going to wait. And I've always found that waiting until the next day, the Tuesday, usually gets you a better entry. In this case, patience really did pay. There was no chasing up here or anything. Uh, we had this massive gap down in the market. This was on the whole market, not just Etsy. And I was able to get in down here and um, took profits pretty quickly and then they did it again here <laughs> and then it ran up and even though the market has been pretty weak this week uh, Etsy was still if you you know just been careful got in, in here I think the contracts were at 450 when we got in here and they ran up to six up to here so really the trade didn't work but at the same time if the more experienced bullseye trade members would have probably thought to hold off because this day was pretty important because there was CPI data coming out and it's really kind of a silly thing to do is to swing through CPI with, you know, something volatile um, with options or whatever. So, you know, I think it was really the smart move to wait until after the CPI. It looks like this was on an uptrend, but the CPI killed it and then it's kind of resumed uh, a little bit. So uh, Jeff waited until here and got in at 450. So did I. So did a lot of people I know. And we just kind of rode it up a bit. I went in and out on some of the, the bumps. Um, but still made decent profit on it, so it's a pretty good trade overall. It didn't really work the way it was supposed to, possibly because of CPI coming out here. And so my three main tips for bullseye, don't chase the option price, bargain hunt it. So you want to look for it to pull back and be below what he recommended. So if he says $6, try and get it for 5 try and get it for 4 if you can. Wait a day or so to let this thing pull back. Especially if there's a big event like CPI, you want to make sure that you are not going to get caught in something something like this drop. And you're going to get a better price anyway, so keep an eye on the markets, keep an eye on the Fed calendar so you know what's coming out and when things are likely to move the market. And don't chase these, these alerts. Uh, also, if you can, take profits a bit more quickly, right? Take them at 30 or 40 or 50%. You don't have to wait for 100% or anything to get out of these 
Um, think of them as bonus trades. You're only paying like $97 for three months. So you don't have to make a ton. Just try and make them steady and consistent. And that's what I've managed to do over the last um, probably like six months that I've been recording these videos uh, about bullseye trades. And so you can see comments in here. I like this section in the bullseye dashboard. People will ask, uh, you know, did you sell half? And Jeff will say, yep, sold half at six for a little better than 30% from the 450 entry yesterday. So you can really see what's going on here. Um, so this guy went in at uh, four, exit to 460, happy with a small profit. Right, it was a difficult week. It wasn't one of the best weeks, but still green of you just kind of put a bit of effort into like figuring out your entries and exits. Think of this as like a due diligence report from Jeff. It's not a like an absolute dyed in the wool buy sell. You can learn something from it as you go, right? You can be like, okay, you start to look at the charts yourself, try and figure things out. Um, and then use his stuff as guidance rather than the be-all and end-all. So, yeah, 450 for the calls. So, he, and he reiterates there, he says, hope you didn't, hope you waited and didn't buy yesterday. This is exactly why I never chased stocks, especially on a Monday. Probably why I find that Tuesdays are the best days to get into these things. So, yeah, so that's the um, overview of Etsy, which was the bullseye trade of the week and then they launched a new service called bullseye unlimited which i just did a review on which is really cool and so i'll touch on it briefly here and probably do another video about it um probably tomorrow uh, but basically they've launched this new service and it's called bullseye unlimited so if we go and look at the landing page we can find it so here's the landing page for bullseye trades unlimited I don't know if this offer is still available. I just have no idea whether they're offering it in-house or if it's going to be offered to new, um, like outside of Raging Bull. This may just be something that was a very limited time offer, which would be kind of ironic because it's called Unlimited. <laughs> but what it means by Unlimited is that the bullseye trades are going to be, instead of just once a week, they're going to be like several times a day. Still swing trades, most of them, and I'll give you a couple examples in a minute. Uh, but they're going to be much more frequent, which is really cool because this is one of the most profitable services the bullseye trades I've ever been part of. It's a lot more expensive. You can see the prices here. I have no idea if this order form will even be up, so I'll put a link in the description. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't promise that this thing will actually work uh, because it was kind of a off the cuff um, offer. And uh, so anyway, so that's the uh, landing page. Let me show you what you get with uh, Bullseye Unlimited. So I just have to find where I'm logged here. Yeah, so this is Bullseye Unlimited the first day. And um, I can show you the first pick that ever came out for Bullseye Unlimited, which is really cool. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just walk through the the first of like what you actually get with Bullseye Unlimited. So this is the overview. Market aim, it does a market recap. Then his best uh, trade ideas for the day. Then his favourite scanner signals, because with Bullseye Unlimited you actually get access to his uh, high octane scanner, which is really cool. Then he gives like a trading lesson in the email and then a look at his real money portfolio. So, so what I like about Jeff is he's really putting his money, like his own money into these and he's very transparent with everything he does. So I'm really enjoying uh, that with Bullseye and then this is like Bullseye on steroids, right? <laughs> Unlimited. So. So he gives a couple ideas. If you're familiar with bullseye trades, you'll recognize the style where he highlights them. And it's the same idea. He's using the same chart and techniques. Everything's similar here, except they're given to you more frequently, which is awesome. So this one is NVAX. Um, these ones are just came out today. So I'm not going to dwell on those because I don't really want you know to give away these, these particular trades. One I do want to show you, though, which was the first one that he alerted yesterday for the service. It was called Edit. So he was saying that Edit was bearish across the board um, from the high octane scanner yesterday. Given the market was green, this was a relative weakness type of setup. So uh, he likes to short Kathy Wood's ARC holdings. Uh, so he bought the $15 puts uh, yesterday. So um, no huge indication like how well this is going to work long term or anything, but uh, pretty promising first day for Bullseye Unlimited. He was buying up here, buying the puts, and this thing just dropped overnight down to here. And that's on day one. That's a big move. So it went in the money uh, overnight. So that's really, really cool. We can check the prices of the contracts as well. Let's have a quick look if he gave the contracts. I bought the $15 puts uh, for a few weeks out. So let's just have a look and see. Um, 
if we can plot like the $15 puts for a few weeks out, what would you say a few weeks out are the end of uh, September? All right, let's do the $15 puts for these. So $15 puts here. Yeah, it's probably these that you used. So I'm gonna send those to my charts here. All right, so here's the $15 put. So you can see overnight they went from 62, so they doubled overnight. Uh, so that was the first trade from Bullseye Unlimited, which is really awesome. Uh, I thought that was really cool. And then he talks about Etsy, which was in the weekly Bullseye as well. Anyway, I'm probably gonna do another couple of videos about Bullseye Unlimited as it starts to unravel in terms of like what they offer, how the trade alerts are going and everything like that. But you can see it's a kind of an exciting exciting time, right? Because we love Bullseye Trades, at least the people, at least I know some of you guys watching this love Bullseye Trades. So having Bullseye Unlimited come out is just, uh, it's really awesome. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway, I hope you have a good weekend. I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.